Good morning, gang. Happy Wednesday. So this one is a little bit more geared toward all those of you that are new to the channel and a lot of you that are new to prepping. What I wanted to talk about was adapting to a changing lifestyle. And for those of you that have been prepping for years, decades, your input would be greatly appreciated uh, in the comments to help people too. Prepping is not something that you just do on the weekend or when you're bored or something. Prepping is a lifestyle and not to say that it's something that, that should consume you 24 seven, but it's something that you've always got to be thinking about because you never know when a situation is going to happen or you never know when you're going to come up with a solution for a situation that you haven't come across yet. What you'll find out throughout your journey as a prepper, you'll find yourself, you'll, you'll find, you'll, You'll find strength that you didn't know you had. You'll find skills you didn't know you, you had. You know, I joked the other day when I was talking about building a mag on, you know, the guy who sits at a desk all day in his, you know, crisp white shirt and a tie. And, you know, his whole life is defined by the fact that he's a bank president or lawyer or whatever it would be. And it's those people that find themselves in prepping because they find they have the ability to do something with these rather than just with this because you need to use both you know what i what i can figure out with my head i've got to put into practice with my hands and if i can do something with my hands I have to figure out with my head how it's best going to serve me. Now, a lot of people think of prepping as stocking food to start. Okay. By no means is it the only thing involved in prepping. Okay. The fact that you built your own mini little 7 Eleven or, you know, grocery store in your house, wonderful. Okay. You know, it's always nice when you go, oh, crap, we're out of mashed potatoes. Honey, can you run into the pantry and grab me another pack of mashed potatoes or grab me three potatoes or whatever? That's nice. You know, you never worry about running out of something that you need in the house because you've stocked it all. But you have to think about prepping in all aspects of your life. Anything that you do during the day you know, we all have a lot of time to just sit and think, okay? You're driving to work, you know, you're stuck in traffic. What are you thinking about, okay? Gee, maybe it was the hockey game last night or, you know, the kids play that's coming up this weekend or whatever it would be, okay? But start thinking about a situation. Put yourself in the situation for prepping. You're driving to work, you're stuck in a traffic jam and the car overheats. What do you do? You're driving to work, stuck in a traffic jam, and an earthquake hits. What do you do? Okay. Those are things that you need to prepare for. And I will tell you this. Sorry, my nose itches. I will tell you this. You will find a lot of comfort and a lot less stress being a prepper than you would otherwise. Because... You have now figured out solutions to a lot of the problems that life will throw at you. You know, we all know the stories that, you know, was it two thirds of Americans don't have 400 bucks in savings to handle a minor emergency. Okay. Most preppers don't have that problem because they could move money from one place to another. Oh my God, I just lost my job. What are we going to do? Well, the one thing we don't have to worry about is buying food because you've got a whole bunch of it stored, okay? 
gee, we don't have to worry about the gas bill because we have backup heat sources. Gee, we don't have to worry about the electric bill because we've already set up, you know, uh, we have you know solar generators or solar panels or whatever it is. It'll take a lot of the stress off of you. But then the other thing is when you're out and about doing things, look around and say, okay, watch other people. What can I do? You know, Alaska Prepper had one the other day where his wife was out shopping and saw garden tools. You know, was it spades and post hole diggers and cultivators on clearance at Walmart for five bucks? They bought a bunch of them. Why he needs four post hole diggers, I don't know. But sure, in case one breaks, he's got another one. You know, I don't think he'll ever have to buy another post hole digger again in his life. Because you got four of them for 20 bucks, you know, where normally it's, you know, 30 some odd dollars a piece. Okay. So good deal. Garage sale the rest of them if you want, you know, use them for barter, whatever it would be. But think about that sort of stuff. Start figuring out skills that you might have or can get that can possibly be of use in the future no matter how big or how small your SHTF situation is, okay? Let's say, for example, the, the water hose on your washing machine cracks. Do you know how to fix it? Do you have the tools? You know, if you, if you have a sharp knife and, some ex, and a screwdriver, whatever, maybe you can fix it. Gee, maybe you could put a temporary patch on there because you've got some of the uh, tape that you can put on there, uh, you know, flex seal or something like that. So you can seal it long enough so you don't flood out the laundry room. Little things like that. You know, the toilet breaks. Do you have, do you have a backup piece to, uh, you know, your, to your toilet tank guts? Pop it in there. It takes five minutes to do. If you've got one, great. It's Minor, minor inconvenience, five minutes. Hey, I got to get a pair of pliers, you know, take this off, put a new one in and I'm done. Rather than the, gee, I've got to call around to a few hardware stores, drive into town, go get the one, pick it back. And all of a sudden it's a half a day project to do something that would have taken me five minutes to do. Prepping is a lifestyle. Think of anything and everything that could go wrong from minor to major and prepare for it. It's not difficult. And believe it or not, it's not that expensive because you're going to buy this stuff anyway. Storing food. Gee, you're going to buy groceries anyway. Go buy the groceries. Rotate your stock. Gee, you run out of a can of corn? There's no, honey, run to the store. I need corn to make this recipe. No, I'll just run into the pantry and grab you one. Save, my, save time, save money. Poof, done. Okay. You're using the stuff. Sure, there's a little bit more upfront cost. Instead of buying two cans of corn to use for the week, you bought four because you put two in the using pantry and two in the storage pantry. All right. Learn to can. Learn to garden. Learn to change your own oil. You know, little things like that are prepping. And eventually, as you get more and more and more, you will all of a sudden realize you've got a good cache of everything that you need to move forward. Prepping's not something you go to the store and you say, okay, I'm going to Walmart this weekend and I'm going to get everything I need to prep. Could you do it? Sure. I bet you could probably, you know, I could probably go buy everything I have and take more than one store. But, you know, if I want to drop 20 grand or whatever it is to buy everything that I need to get because I've been doing this for a while, you know, solar generators and solar panels and weaponry and things like that, you know, aren't something that you just go out and get all at one time. Could you go to the store today and buy a month's worth of food? Yep. Pretty, pretty easily. You know, you go buy 50 pounds of beans, 50 pounds of rice. You got enough to eat for a month. Okay. It's not going to be the most tasty food, but you're going to make it, you know, prepping's a lifestyle, you know, you just change your, change your mind, 
rather than going out to the bar on Friday night with the guy and drop with the guys and dropping fifty bucks and beers, have the guys over to the house, buy yourself a case of beer for twenty five bucks. You just save twenty five dollars. Put that towards your preps. Rather than stop and stop at Starbucks every morning on your way to work and spend five bucks on a cup of coffee, buy yourself a little thermos cup. Drink that. It saves you twenty five bucks a week. You know, it's rather than go t- pack your lunch. You know, do whatever it would be. You can come up with the money. It if you sat down with a piece of paper and wrote down. Everything you spent in the course of a month, I mean everything, okay? Giving the kid five bucks to, you know, buy whatever the hell the kid wants to buy. You know, eight dollars to buy gas for the lawnmower or whatever it would be. If you wrote that, you, I guarantee you can come up with money that you're going, I can't believe I spent that much money on this. And you can figure out how to put it in your preps. And once you start doing that, You'll be amazed how fast you get really good at getting more. Because like I said, prepping prepping is a lifestyle. It's not a hobby. So do your best. I'm sure there will be a bunch of great tips on things to do, on how to get started, how to get out of a rut if you're stuck. I mean, everybody gets a little bit of burnout doing this every once in a while. You got to change the picture. Yeah, every once in a while, go see a movie, go bowling, go play golf, go fishing, go do whatever the hell, you know, that you do, okay? But spend time with the kids, get the kids involved, you know, get the spouse involved and have fun doing it, you know? Hey, kids, let's go outside and set up a bonfire and, you know, roast hot dogs and marshmallows for dinner. Mom doesn't have to cook. Okay, fine, you know? Kids get to make hot dogs. So what can you do in the meantime? Well, you can teach the kids a little bit about maybe how to start a fire. You know, what kind of wood to collect. You know, you can use them as training things too. You can have fun with this, guys. Because you might as well try to have some fun with it now before the balloon goes up and then it's all work. Enjoy the journey. This This is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, just keep the head in the game, and you'll do fine. Have a good Wednesday. Remember that.